Hi guys, welcome back to AlgoTest. In this video, we're going to be walking you through one of our newest tools that we've come up on the platform. And we've received a lot of love for this tool. So first and foremost, a really heartfelt thanks to everybody in the community that's used this feature and that supported us with this new tool. We really appreciate your support and that is the motivation for us to build more and more products, tools and features. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be walking you through the heat map feature. Now, if you've never used it, don't worry. This is the perfect video for you to actually understand how you can find it beneficial and how you can use it pretty much every single day to aid your analysis. All right, let's get straight into the video. So I'm currently on the AlgoTest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. And then on the right hand side where it says your profile, scroll down and click on heat map. All right, this is what the heat map looks like. It might be a little overwhelming. It might be a lot of information when you look at it just at your first glance, but don't worry, we're gonna break it down completely. All right, so let's start from the top where it says heat map. Visualize market trends with options data across multiple underlying assets. So after that, you have this section, essentially a control panel that allows you to change quite a few different things. But first and foremost, what is this? So this tool, the heat map tool, is used to see how a particular straddle would have fared if traded at a particular stop loss, at a particular time, on a particular date. You have all those customizations available on this one tool. So let's walk through it step by step. So we have three different configurations. The first one and the by default one is the time versus stop loss. So you have time on this axis and you have stop loss on the x axis. So what we've done is we've selected a date. Let's so let's select 19th of September. And what we're going to do is you can select your underlying over here. Let's just try with Nifty first. What we'll do is we'll analyze what stop loss worked the best and when traded at what time. So let's say if you're trading with a 10% stop loss, this 10% stop loss, if you started trading it at 9.16, 9.45, so on and so forth, all the way until 2.45, you can see this is how it would have fared. And remember, this is just a short straddle adding a legwise percentage stop loss. In fact, if we want, you can actually click on this toggle button and that enables the call and put split. So this splits the call and put options and their uh, respective results. So you can see trading this uh, short straddle at any of these times with a 10% stop loss would not have been profitable except at 11.15. And as a matter of fact, you can see that there's a consistent green trend at 11.15. So whatever stop loss that you put at 11.15 between 10, 20, 30, 40 or so on and so forth until 100% stop loss, leg wise, all of them were profitable on this particular day. Now I'll stop for a second. This is only a tool. This is not telling you that if you trade with this stop loss at this time on this day, you're, you're guaranteed to make money. There is no free lunch. There are no guarantees in this world except death and taxes. But besides that, there are no other guarantees. So this is just a tool that can aid your analysis. This is not by any means to tell you that you should trade at this time because on this particular day, it was profitable. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, so this was the first configuration and you can see over here, there's a total. So this totals up trading 10% stop loss all throughout the day at all these entry times. If you had traded all these entries at, uh, at a 10% stop loss, this is what the net profit for the day would net PL for the day would have been versus if you traded at 916 with all these stop losses, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way till 100. This is what your net PL would have been. And like I said, on this particular day, 1115, if you traded um, all these stop losses, you would have made um, a decent chunk of money. And that's also true if you traded all these stop losses from 10 to 100% at 10.15. All right, you've got some share buttons here, of course, and we, we urge you to share this and um, share it with other traders on social media that can help you find better trends and more interesting trends. So that was the first configuration. The second configuration is the date versus time configuration. Now here, what you can change is also the stop loss. So you can view one stop loss at a time. So let's say if I want to see how a particular stop loss is performing across a variety of timestamps and across a variety of dates. I can do that. So let's say I want to see how the 50% stop loss fares. So when I select the 50% stop loss and I've selected my date range as 
between uh, 10th of September to 23rd of September. You can see you've got the dates on this axis, the Y axis, and you've got time on this X axis, right? So uh, 10th September 24, you can see at 9.16, if you traded with a 50% stop loss, you would have made a loss of 2,500 rupees roughly. And I'm just gonna pick any other random place. So let's say over here, this is telling you on 16th of September 24, if you trade it at 11.15 with a 50% stop loss, then this is what the PL would have been. It would have been a profit of 405 rupees. And then besides that, you have, of course, like I said earlier, the addition horizontally as well as vertically. So that is configuration number two, which is date versus time. Now let's look at the third configuration, which is date versus SL. So here, what we're changing now is the entry time, right? So let's say we want to change our entry time and assess, okay, if I want to enter at 9.45, what is looking like the most optimal stop loss to enter? So let's select uh, 9.45. And again, let's, okay, let's change the index this time to bank nifty, right? Start date and end date will keep the same just for simplicity's sake. Now you can see, at th these are all at 9.45. All of these trades are placed at 9.45. Only difference is the date, of course, and the stop loss percentage. So let's take this example, for example, the 17th of September 24. If I trade it with a 10% stop loss at 9.45, this is the PL, 337 rupees. Now, if I trade that same uh, at 9.45 entry, 20% stop loss instead of the 10% stop loss, 91 is my PL. So on and so forth. And you can see that if I trade it on the 20th of September 24 with a 10% stop loss, I have a PL of 2,274 rupees. And then finally, once again, you have the horizontal edition as well as the vertical edition. And like I alluded to earlier, you can click this button, the split put and call to actually break down the call and put legs and how much they individually made or lost. All right, guys, thanks for watching this quick video. We hope you like this walkthrough. And more importantly, we hope you really enjoy using this tool as it's been getting a lot of love from a lot of people within our community and also outside the Algotest community. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. See you in the next one.